Hey there, welcome back. So today we will explore more on compositions. Now in our previous video, we have like directly printed the value of lappy and uh, the object was printed with the help of two string method, which is cool. Now in this video, we will proceed further and check out a couple of more interesting stuff. And the interesting stuff will be like how we can access object inside our object. So a little interesting thing. So moving forward, first of all, let us like navigate to this processor class and let us create some getter methods. So I will right click navigate to source and generate getters and setters. And in here we will simply generate the getters. So this is cool. Let me click on OK. And now we have the getters. Now friends, imagine the situation that we would like uh, get some information from this processor object. Now when we create the object of laptop, let me show you the laptop class real quick. In here, a object is created, which is cool. But inside this object, we also have object of processor and graphic card. As a result, we have a object inside the object. Now in order to access a method from this processor class, we need to access object inside object and the way is a little different. Let me show you. For example, in here I type in lappy dot, then here are the methods which are available to us. Now we won't be able to access the processor object. So first of all, we need to create and getter method for this processor field. So let me show you how we can do that. So I will right click, navigate to source and create a getter for this processor field. And I will be generating only getter, right? So in here, let me add in only getter. How we can do that? Only getter. All right. So this looks cool. All right. So now we are having one method which will return object of processor type. So first target achieved. Let us call in this particular method get processor. So now this get processor method will directly return the object of processor. Now inside this processor object we have method. So in order to access that we can make use of dot once again. And now we are able to see all of the method which are available inside the processor object. Now in here, for example, we would like to get the brand of the processor, then it could be easily achieved and we can print it and the output is entire. So this is how we can like access method from object of object. So this is cool. And uh, let me also like generate the getter method for laptop property as well. All of it in fact. So I will generate the getters and setters. All right. So this looks cool. All right. So now we are all set to add in some functionality into our composition and the functionality would be like booting up the laptop or uh, setting up the gaming mode. So we will like uh, play around a little with composition. So this was a quick lecture of uh, how accessing object inside a object and in fact how we can access the method inside a object of object. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Take care.